Get a little bit of rap control, but now finding that smoke to be quite in impossible wall to pass through. They have elected That's to go the through rotator. it. That's the rotator. They're making yeah. the correct call here. They're going to the B bomb site. This is a pinch and for B. Zipex is going to have to deal with five players all by himself. A great read here for Zipex in his first point of contact. He does not net any frags, does a considerable amount of damage, and actually that grenade does rain through Supreme there onto Azar. So now these four players of the Renegades are going to have to collect that bomb from construction, get it planted, and, well, Device going for the peak there alongside of Dupree, and Device the first victim, Dupree trying his best to be the second, taking a ton of damage, and the bomb's still not planted until now. 20 seconds left on the clock, completely fine. You're going to see Astralis now back away from this situation entirely. They're going to go ahead and try to get out of there with the armor that they have. And, well, first round going to the Renegades this early on. And I will say, Renegades has had some of the most creative and innovative pistol rounds I have ever seen a team bring to the Major. And this is another one. They have people jumping out of halls into lane and then going through an arch smoke into CT spawn. They're just running the gauntlet around the entire map. Astralis completely caught out of position there. A little bit of utility and AKs that they do have. They're going to try to get something going here as best as possible. But Device with the angle and the shot on the Jacob finds another one on the JKS. And should he find the last one on the Gratis Faction, they'll give him the three-peat. But the pre instead will be marching through the smoke triumphantly and putting a third round on the board for Astralis. Well, I mean, it, it had worked for them in that opening round. They're going to run right into Zipix here. Finds one, two. Can he grab a third? They're going to try to peek him. And he does indeed. Tries to pull out that Deagle. Can't seem to do it for the fourth. JKS is eliminated not long after that. Liaz left all in his lonesome, having worked all the way up banana. And almost in vain, considering the bomb is down there towards the arch side. He knows that there's a player lingering around over here at B. And, uh, well, not a betting man, but if I were, I would say that the odds are highly stacked against this young man here. I'm not even sure if he could run and grab the bomb and get back, Trace, so I'm going to go ahead and side with you on this one. Dupree about to get nasty with it, and by that I mean he's going to be eradicated. The spam from Glaive, though, will prove to be disastrous as they walk right into a grenade from Magist. This is all falling apart at the seams, and Azur can't seem to put it all back together. He's trying to do something. And we cannot write him off on this map. The first map they won, they were down 12-3. That's right. Bounce back. And that was Mirage. If you're an Inferno, the storylines could play out similarly, so make sure you don't go anywhere. Renegade's trying to go somewhere, though. They're going to try to go towards this A site. This peak by device will prove to be just fatal for that of JKS. And another one for him. He's going to take Liaz down as well. Gratis faction by himself. One minute left. Does have the AWP and bomb. But against four members of Astralis, well, with all the wishes in the world. The no-scopes, though, didn't account for those. Did take down Device. Very well done. But again, not, not really much that he can hope to, to put into action here. No, he finds himself in a very tough position. Now, mind you, they have that Molotov, so they're going to be able to clear out the pit here, and that's big. Liaz looking to hold it together. Can't do that. Majisk and Zipnik has come up on top. And it's now down to the three members of the Renegades, and Azur, Jacob, and JKS to retake this bomb site, but it doesn't appear as though they're going to go for it at all. Having situated and posted up in that B bomb site the entirety of the round, they're going to concede it, and that's going to be 14 on the board for Astralis. Not the start you were hoping for if you're a Renegades fan. Yeah, what a brutal pistol round coming out of Astralis right there. Two players in the A bomb site, one of which you did 90 damage to, and you're in the pit unimpeded. There's no way that Renegades was going to win that round based on the call out of Astralis. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, the form that Astralis has right now, should they have even put three over there today? <laughs> it's hard to say that it would have gone much differently. This is the big magic number for the Swiss system, but as it stands, Jacob with that aggression there down Banana is not going to prove to bring anything forward for the Renegades. In fact, if anything, may have set this up in a way that they don't know that there's two players here. These smokes maybe going to hold off Astralis just a little bit. They don't necessarily need to go through it with the quickness. And they don't seem to want to either. They don't. They have these two HE grenades and they dump them both to the coffin position. No one from a is there. But that is their last smoke at Banana. You can see Azza's just holding it all by himself. 
Strahl is spreading out now, going back towards the A-bomb site. There's going to have to be some huge individual plays here from the side of Renegades. The other domination of Astralis is at hand, and they seemingly have not found an answer just yet. 40 seconds on the clock. Could be Azur that finds that first contact. He does catch a device out in the open. Puts him down a considerable amount of damage, but ultimately does not win the skirmish. Gratisfaction getting one on the other side of the map. And now what is a fight for the boiler room control? Has gone in the way of Astralis. He started working the way up there towards that porch, taking the A site, having a casualty in Dupree in the meantime. And that bomb will be planted there in a pretty safe location by Majisk. Now, important to note here, Sean, the two AKs, as well as the Galil over in Astralis, you have to mention the fact that they are low. So there is a chance, but it would really take something here. And Device is going to find himself in a really, really advantageous position. The real thorn in the side and the timing just works out impeccably. You couldn't even script it if you tried. Device finding the two there under the porch. And that is not a good look from the Renegades. And that is such a veteran play coming out of Device. Playing the sound, waiting for his teammates to make contact. And then he gets on that flank, gets two frags with 21 Damn. HP to shut Renegades out of the round. Approach this, they can pretty much do whatever it is that they would like to do. And at least Liaz has something to say about that. But Dupree has even bigger words to exchange. Finding the two kills there on Liaz and Gratis Faction. Now, as they're kind of postured over here towards the B side, they don't have the bomb, but they do have all the frags necessary. Jacob and JKS, the only thing standing between Astralis and a map victory. Jacob with the shotgun frag. Does bring him down to 22 HP. And the bomb is going to be working its way up to A now. They're going to have to leave a player over here at B. They don't really have a choice. But Dupree is in the pits. The bomb is coming up mid. No. They knew that both players would be at B once the Mag-7 comes through the smoke. I do not see a way that Renegades can retake this bomb site, but they have to try, Trace. So you're telling me that there's a chance, but ultimately the House of Cards has fallen. And it's all going to fall down to this. JKS and Jacob have to go for the retake here. There is no letting off the gas. This is, in fact, match point. And Jacob's not going to last long in the fight himself. Going to the frag, JKS finding one. Not enough. And Astralis have done it here, 3-0 through the legend stage as predicted, as put on through the simulation.